We turn now to the coronavirus pandemic and some good news to share here. Coronavirus cases, hospitalizations and deaths nationwide have steadily dropped this week. With that, life in America is starting to kind of look more like a uh, pre-pandemic, I should say. CBS 4's Carly Barnett has more. From the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. to a California amusement park, America's attractions are opening their doors wide to tourists. For the first time in nearly 20 months, some sections of Yankee Stadium were full, filled only with fans who are fully vaccinated. At first you're a little bit nervous and then you're like, all right, we're all vaccinated. At Coors Stadium in Denver, vaccinated fans went maskless. I'm not sure if it feels normal yet. California officials now say the state will drop social distancing requirements starting June 15th. Welcome news for restaurants like the Blue Jam Cafe. They, they've been hurting a lot to hear that, that news. A year later, that's, that's going to be great for us. Nationwide, new COVID cases have decreased to rates not seen since last June, and health experts credit the vaccines. The CDC says almost half of people over 18 are fully vaccinated, but experts say to extinguish the virus, more Americans need a shot. People do not get uh, fully vaccinated, the millions more out there who still need to, uh, then we will still be at risk uh, potentially for more infections in the future, and we want to protect everybody. There are plenty of incentives. Governors in Oregon, Washington, and Vermont announced some restrictions will stay in place until more than 70% of eligible residents are vaccinated. The White House has teamed up with dating apps to feature vaccination badges. And some states are entering vaccinated people into lotteries. The number of people in Ohio who received their initial vaccine jumped 33% the week after the state announced its million-dollar incentive. Carly Barnett, CBS4 This Morning.